let's talk about how you can control the navigation of your site. By default, when you create a site and start creating pages, it will add the links in the sidebar. So watch, as I add a new page, and I name my page, so for example, I'm going to name this page Hobbies. So you have the choice. Here's the name of your page, and here you can select the location. Top level means it's going to be even with like your home page. If it is a sub page of another page, for example, if I was making a page about food and I did a page about carbs, I could put it under the page. You also could choose a different location other than what they choice and if you want to make it a sub page of any of the, your existing pages. So if it's not a sub page, you can leave it at the top level. And if it is a sub page of one of your existing pages, but not the page that they show here, you choose a different location and stick it under there. So just say I'm going to put hobbies and I'm going to put it at my top page and I hit create. Watch what happens in my sidebar navigation. Here it is home, food, hobbies, test. They will by, by default be put in alphabetical order except for home. And then I hit save. If I wanted to add another page, for example, maybe it's a sub page of hobbies, and I could put skiing. Do I want it at the top level? No, I want it under hobbies. Then I hit create. And you'll then see it is a sub page of hobbies. And when pages have sub pages, you get the little triangle menu and you can collapse it or expand it. Collapse it or expand it. And then I can hit save. I'll show you one more time with pages. Add a page. Just say I wanted to make it another hobby sub page and I liked reading. Do I want it at the top level? No. That means it's even with home and all my main pages. Do I want it under skiing? No. And that would make it a sub page of my sub page of skiing of my sub page of hobbies. And this even shows you the path. It would be reading a sub page of skiing, a sub page of hobbies. But that's not what I want. So I can click choose a different location. And I want it to be a sub page of hobbies. So I click on hobbies. I see it says put under hobbies. Hobbies is highlighted here. I click create. And there you'll have it. Reading and skiing. And notice it's in alphabetical order. Even though I made reading second, it put it above skiing. And you can't do anything about that with the alphabetical order. Now, the only way you can change the alphabetical order, because by default, the sidebar navigation uses automatic navigation. So if you want to control your sidebar navigation and not have things in alphabetical order, you have to turn off automatic navigation. And I'll show you what you do. If I click in here, see, right in here it says navigation, edit sidebar item, I can click and here what we have, title navigation, I could change the title. But here where by default it says automatically organize my navigation. So by default, it's going to automatically organize it and organize it in alphabetical order. And it's only going to show levels of two pages. So here's one level, here's two level. So if I had put skiing underneath, a reading underneath skiing, it wouldn't appear in the navigation. So if you're going to use automatic navigation and you're going to have more than one set of subpages, you want to show all your levels. If you don't want to include a link to the sitemap, you can uncheck it here. So just remember, Sidebar is going to automatically navigate and only show two levels. So I click OK and I still have my automatic navigation on. Show you again, I cur hover my cursor over here, I see Edit Sidebar Item, I can click on it and I can turn off automatic navigation. And what that's going to do is take you to new window. So now you don't have any pages to show. So if I click OK, watch what's going to happen. All my things are gone. Why? Because I turned off automatic navigation and I did not tell the program, OK, well, this is what pages I want to show. So automatic navigation makes it very easy 
for all your pages to show up. See, I checked it off to come back on. I clicked on OK, and my pages are back. But like I said, if you want to change the order, you come in, you turn off automatic navigation, and then you click on Add Page. And Add Page will show you all your pages. So, but you have to click on them individually. So I could say, OK, I want food, and I have to scroll down and say OK. And then I want my hobbies page, and I have to scroll down and hit OK. Now, if I want my sub pages of hobbies, I have to click on the plus sign and click reading and scroll down and click OK. And I have to click add page, open up hobbies, click on skiing, and then click OK. And of course, I want my home page, so I can click on add page and click home and scroll down and click OK. So like I said, if you turn on an ad navigation off, you're configuring your navigation in your sidebar. Now, this is how they would appear. If I want to reorder them, you use these up and down arrows to move. So if I want home at the top, I can arrow home up to the top. If I want food below hobbies, because I didn't want the alphabetical order that appeared here, I could arrow it below hobbies. But I want my reading and skiing to be sub-pages of my hobbies. So I have to click reading and put it under hobbies, click skiing, put it under reading. But maybe I want skiing over reading. So this way I can do it. It doesn't have to pay attention to alphabetical order. So this is going to order them. But notice they're all basically on the same level and I had reading and skiing over here as sub-pages. So I can use these arrows that are indention arrows to indent and move skiing and reading in. So when I have it how I want it, I click OK, and it will reorganize it in the way I want it. So remember, that's automatic navigation turned out. You have to configure it yourself in the sidebar. OK? Now, horizontal navigation does not appear by default, and horizontal navigation does not configure automatically at all. So if I come up here and enable my horizontal navigation, I'm going to see words here that are going to say horizontal navigation content goes here. And if I click on it, I have the same thing as I had configure navigation with my sidebar. And I have to start all over again. So I add page and I can pick food and you have to want them at time again and click OK. And I add page and I click hobbies and OK and I need my sub pages of hobbies so I'm doing the exact same thing that I did in the sidebar in horizontal navigation but I'll tell you the difference in horizontal navigation you do not have the option for automatically configuring there's no option in it at all so if you want a, to do an easier thing and you don't want to have to deal with the navigating configuring it then you want to stick with the sidebar and leave horizontal and leave sorry automatic navigation turned on okay so another thing is so now I have to organize again so this is going to show the tabs in order across the page how I want it I want home to be the first tab and I'm going to lead food and hobbies but I want reading and skiing to be sub pages so I have to indent them now Style here, boxes is default, so let's take a look at boxes. If I click OK, here's the boxes. And notice, I put my cursor over it, and if I click on hobbies, well, let me close it so you can really see it. I click on hobbies, then I have my sub pages. Okay? I'm going to go back, edit my site layout so I can show you the different ones. Horizontal navigation edit, put my cursor somewhere where the horizontal navigation bar is, give a click, Let's look at tabs. I say OK, and it's going to show me what tabs look like. Here are tabs, food, food, hobbies. Notice it's not showing my sub pages, but if I hit close and I go back and put my cursor over, then I'll see my sub pages. So when you're in the edit mode, and if you made sub pages, don't freak out when you put your cursor over. Remember, you have to close to look at it again. So let's look at the last choice is links, and I say OK. 
And this is what they look like, just straight links. Notice I'm over hobbies, it doesn't show my subpages. I say close, put hobbies, it shows my subpages. Now the one thing I want to tell you, when automatic navigation is turned off for the sidebar, when I add a new page, watch what happens. Edit page, I'm adding, I'm sorry to mean edit page, apologize. Add a new page. So I'm adding a new page and I'm just going to add sports and I want it to be on the top level and I hit create. Notice, when it goes back to my site, sports does not appear in the sidebar navigation nor does it appear in the horizontal navigation. Now it's never going to automatically appear in the horizontal navigation. I always will have to add it. But if I went into, and I'll save the page, if I went and go into the sidebar navigation, go back to more and edit the site layout, if I go back to the sidebar navigation and turn automatic navigation back on and click OK, Watch what happens. Sports automatically appears. Notice, didn't appear up here because in horizontal navigation there is no choice for automatic navigation. So if I want the sports to be added, I have to do add page, click on sports, scroll down and find OK, make sure it's in the right spot and I, it's on the same level as home, food, and hobbies, and click OK. And then it will appear. Now one thing about websites, you're not going to want sidebar navigation and horizontal navigation. You need to decide which one you want. So like I said, if you want control in terms of not having things in alphabetical order, and notice when I went back to automatic, it reordered things into alphabetical order even though when I had already reordered it when I turned off automatic navigation. So I'll say it again. Automatic navigation will be alphabetical order and it will automatically put things in order for you. You can only have that in the sidebar. Horizontal navigation, there is no automatic navigation and you have to control it yourself. So the choice is yours.